everyone welcome back to FMC lighthouse i want to thank you so much for joining me here once more on my channel to book a private session with me all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video i encourage you to join me in my vip section if you're interested i will put the link for you to join in the comment section let's get started spirit please provide me with energies that surround taurus in the recent past Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus in the recent past, please. What do you have for energies surrounding Taurus? Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus. Pisces energy coming out here first with the moon. So somebody's being quiet or there's a situation that's hidden. There are suppressed emotions here. Tell me more about Pisces energy in the recent past whether you're dealing with a pisces or not we all can be in this feeling sometimes right we all could want to be mysterious or not want to engage with certain individuals so you're probably in that energy or there's somebody around you that's being very mysterious themselves okay tell me more about this pisces energy coming out here with the moon all right so we have the high priestess even more pisces energy Okay, major emphasis on those of you who are dealing with a water sign or a mutable sign, a Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, okay, a Virgo. I'm just feeling here that someone just doesn't want to fight anymore, all right? Someone is here putting their swords down. So it's like, look, I don't got time for it. As a matter of fact, I'm moving past it type of energy all right this is libra gemini aquarius energy but i feel that this could be you i don't see you being combative i don't see you being a problem for somebody else somebody else views you as a problem or they are still assuming right because i still feel like there's an energy around you that still assumes that they know you so well and they don't right so this person or these people you know want to sit there and play like they're your energy reader <laughs> Right? But at the end of the day, you know yourself well enough. You are in this energy of, look, I just need some peace of mind and I'm praying. I am doing my rituals, whatever it is that makes you feel better. I feel like that's what you're doing, Taurus. Okay, You're not in this energy of wanting to start problems with people. I feel like they think that you want a problem with them or that you're going to start something. I don't know why they feel that. Tell me more about this energy in the recent past. Talk to me about this energy in the recent past. Tell me more about this person or these people. What's going on here for Taurus in the recent past? We have this Ace of Wands energy coming out here with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody wants to come out of the conflict, okay? Five of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Wands. So somebody would like to speak to you, Taurus. They would like to overcome some type of difficulty that you and them are having. Clarify this Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for some of you, not all of you. Tell me more. Talk to me about the Ace of Wands. So what is this person offering? What are they bringing to the table? Okay, so the Knight of Swords, like... You see what I mean? What's up with this person's energy? They want to talk to you so bad, but they're so aggressive. What for? Did you hurt this person's feelings? Because I feel like they're hurt. They're hurt. I don't know what you said, or I don't know if this was a way that you acted. They want to get over the drama with you, right? Five of swords in reverse, ace of wands, wanting to cooperate with you, but at the same time, they have some words for you? Uh-uh, that's not going to work, buddy. I don't know who it is. But the thing is, you can't think that you're going to come in and then try to put a Taurus in their place? Nah, absolutely not. Okay, so there's that type of energy here. It's contradicting, in fact. So it's like, you want to be nice to me and you want to get along with me, but at the same time, you feel like you got to say something so bad? Tell me more. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. 
Two of Cups. Yeah, I know that this person cares for you. I know that they love you. I know that what they ultimately want is to get along with you and for you both to have some level of cooperation. That's very clear, okay? But they still need to calm down is what I feel. They have to calm down because you're calm. You're in this high priestess energy. You are unbothered, but they're still bothered. It's ridiculous. What bothers this person so bad in the recent past? What bothers them? What bothers this person in the recent past? Talk to me about this energy. This, okay. So I feel like they can't stop thinking about you or reminiscing with this Four of Swords. All right. All they do is think about what you're up to, what you're doing, what your next move is, how they regret their behavior. All right. They regret their behavior not only with you, but they regret their behavior with a Libra. They regret their behavior with a Sagittarius. They regret their behavior with more than just you, Taurus. Like this person has been shitting on people for a long time. Okay. And now I just feel like there's some sort of karma that's coming back to this person. They did an Aries wrong. They did a Cancer wrong. They did so many people wrong. Like, okay. This is also what I'm feeling. Somebody that does not have a good relationship with one of their oldest children. Okay. So now it's getting specific. Somebody does not have a good relationship with their oldest child here. All right. This is the person that wants to be with you, Taurus, that thinks about you all the time, but then has some words for you because you hurt their feelings in some way, okay? You probably told them the truth. That's what happened. Tell me more. Talk to me about the present. That was the recent past. Talk to me about the present. What's going on with this person in the present moment? King of Swords. Okay, so something very serious on their mind. It's like, I feel they have an idea of how to get your attention. You know, I don't know if it's going to work. It's going to be up to you. Tell me more about King of Swords. What is this King of Swords going to do? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell me more. Ten of Wands? Goodness. What is going on with this person, Taurus? Ten of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're venting to a King of Swords, probably, about an issue that they've had with you that seems to be unresolvable because of their own irrational behavior. Hopefully, they are identifying that. Because I feel that you've been very concrete with this person, right? I feel like now you're ready to break the concrete. <laughs> you know, I feel like there's this energy of, okay, I was loyal to you, but not anymore. So it's like you're in this energy of you don't want to be loyal to a specific person anymore. I get it. And because of that, like this person seems to be very stressed out. Ten of Wands. They can't replace you. They can try to replace you as much as they can with 50 girls, 50 men. There is no other you. That's the point here. And I think they're starting to identify that. See? <laughs> Look at this. This is you, right? Walking away, leaving someone behind, and then they're right after you, trying to communicate with you, trying to talk to you, trying to, you know, get on a better page. All right. If they're watching this, then they probably feel like they have to hold back because I'm already calling them out here. I'm calling them out. And so they'll try to reverse what I'm saying. They'll try to do something differently because I'm exposing them here. If they're watching, you know what I mean? But I just feel like the truth is, is that they want to talk to you. They try to replace you with somebody else or other people. That has never worked. Okay. It doesn't matter who they try to put in your shoes, all right? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And so they are identifying that. You know, this is something that's all up in their face right now. 
It's in their mental. It's in their mind. Like they can't shake you. That's what this is giving. Like somebody cannot shake you. I don't feel like you put a spell on anybody either. You know, they probably feel that. I don't feel like you did that. Somebody cannot get over you. They cannot. Even if you don't speak to them, they still stuck on you. I feel it. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Taurus and this energy. Um, hmm. The Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It seems like your money is good. It seems like you are blossoming is what this seems like. I'm not sure if that's a sight to see for this person, right? Because they thought that they could just move on and that you would be chasing them or suffer for them or something like that. You're not in that energy. So they're mistaken. You know, we do have this Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody just is not open to this in the future. You know, I feel like that could be you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Major changes. We have Pisces, Sagittarius coming out here. You know, your skills are what is important right now, Taurus. Like, your talents, your business, your money, your finances, things like that. Someone is identifying it, right? I feel like they wanted to be a part of this. They wanted to be a part of this next chapter of your life. And I don't know if you're going to allow them to do that, Taurus. It's going to be up to you. Tell me more. Because you're not chasing them and you're not going to chase them. See, that's the thing that they need to understand. I know that it makes them feel all puffed up, you know, when you look for them and, you know, you are catering to their ego and they feel, you know, very just proud of themselves when you look for them, but you're not going to be doing that with this person. So I hope that they have identified that already, okay? They can continue to deal with whoever does that for them because you're not doing that. You face them and when they see you, they see the truth. That's what this is. As soon as you face them, they see you and then they wanna hide, right? Because you're calling them out. You make them face what they don't want to face. So they would rather run, run away because I feel like they run away from the truth when it comes to you. And they go with somebody who will submit, okay? Which eventually gets boring. To be around a submissive energy all of the time is you committing to being bored. Let's just put it like that. Anything else for Taurus before we wrap this up? Eight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Who is this Eight of Swords person? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Listen, there's a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius that wants to come right back in, okay? Whether they told you or not, but you are not going to pursue them. Like they want you to come to them. They want you to want them. They want you to be in their DN. They want you to be in their story. They want you to be on their shit. No, like if you did that, that was then and this is now. Right, let's make that very clear to this person. That was then, this is now. So they're gonna have to conform or get out. Bye. They are not that important anymore. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus, to book a private session. All of that info is below. Take care.